Hi guys, it is Dan aka Prof Chipboard and I am back with my week two IPVL match. It is totally not two weeks late. Um that's a lie, fake news. Um so basically I'm playing up against uh Kurt, or I know his point Blake. Uh was supposed to play Johan but he dropped week one, so I'm playing Kurt instead. Um so the team is only kind of half fixed. Um basically he made a bunch of changes. Um and because of because it was basically during my finals I didn't really re prep entirely as well as I should for them. But I still had a team which I thought I could win with. Um, so on top of the Gudra, Jolteon, Crobat, Amoongus, Buzzwall, Slowbro that he has and has brought, he also has an Alone Sand Slash, an Alone Dugtrio, a Lycan Mock Day, a Gengar, and an Incineroar. To be honest, he brought the ones I was expecting, with exception of maybe the Cro. I kind of expected the um, Gengar over Crobat or something like that. But yeah, um, wasn't at all surprised by his team composition. Um, basically, he's got very, very good rain answers because he's got the Amoongus, he's got the Slowbro, so or he's got decent rain answers and the Gudra, which are all decent stops to sort of rain. And it's good, Gudra's a good stop to my Fundy T. So, the sort of the idea is that I weaken that and then I can sort of start to sweep through with Fundy T because he's really weak to Psychic, as you can see. Um, if I can get the Gudra chipped, if I can get the Slowbro low he just loses to Scarf Psychic, which conveniently is what my um, Thunderous T has. Um, it's basically a mixed, um, mainly special, modest, oh sorry, mild Scarf with uh, Psychic, Thunderbolt, U-turn and Knockoff. Knockoff is to deal, is to remove like, not yet, it, it's it's there because it stops the Gudra from coming in with Impunity, it means it's like you'll lose items and things like that. Um, I then have standard curse lax because he kind of just loses standard curse lax and when Buzzwall dies, um, unless he's got clear smog on Amoongus. But clear smog Amoongus kind of does suffer from full moose loss syndrome. But yeah, if he is clear smog Amoongus, um, but yeah, but I also have Snorlax and sort of absorb sleeps. But yeah, uh, it does it does that. Um, originally he had a zoom rail instead of Buzzwall and that just curse lax six would him. I didn't take it off because I thought, well, if I bring enough stuff to beat the bus, well, I should be okay. Even though it's, I know it's a massive, massive threat. Um, considered swapping this or potentially the status stealer out for Decidueye, um, just so I have something which is doing a little bit better with a bus, well, but I decided to risk it and keep this uh, with me. Um, I have um, Kabutops here, uh, which is. Um, uh, a huge huge threat to his team. Doesn't really have a good rock resist um, because his rock resists are uh, a load of dog trio. Um, uh, yeah, and that may quad resist rock. It just doesn't appreciate rock. So I have max Adam at max speed, which is enough speed to outpace a Adam Buzzwall um, and Adam, uh, a non speedy Gudra as well. Uh, with Stone Edge, uh, Rocky MZ because two weeks in a row it's a good move. SD Aqua Jet and Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is so I can break the Buzzwall without re needing to use the Rocky MZ because that allows me to basically pick up a kill and break one of his regen months. Uh, missing is basically my best way of breaking his team uh, and if I get up to plus two I can basically win um, just from absolutely nothing. If Raid is up and I'm at plus two it wins so long as I hit my stone edges. Um, I then have Pelipper, uh, Wakan Berry, um, physically defensive this is one of my better checks to the Buzzwall um, with, I believe, Toxic, Roost, um, Scold. Yeah, no U turn this week. Um, no hazard control either because, you know, it's me. Uh, I then have Hippowdon. Um, I believe Toxic, um, but Rocks because I like Rocks. Um, um, should, probably should have brought Whirlwind, but I didn't. Um, I brought Ice Fang. Yeah. Again, this is a. I played this game a long time ago. I can't, I can't remember. And then I finally have Celesteela. Um I believe I'm choice. No, I believe I'm Life Orb. Um, offensive again. Heavy Slam. Uh, air Slash. Giga Drain. Basically, mixed offensive. This thing does also quite a good job of breaking his wall core. Let's head into this. I believe I leave with my fun, lead off with my Fundy because I have very little imagination and um, just want to get off a U turn or something like that. Um, as Kurt 
gives us a challenge. Um, good luck, Cap. Spoiler up. This is a. I mean, it's not really a spoiler, right? You can see the length of this video. It's fairly long. He leads off with Gudra, which is annoying. Um, I want to scout the damage. Uh, my Hebhalden's got a lot of spadef on it, so I can U-turn out pretty safely and um, get a little bit of damage off on this. Um, look at it set. The crit here is a bit unfortunate for him. Um, spoiler alert, it's not the first bit of hacks to begin this match. As I go, oh sorry, not into my power on, I go into Curse Lax because Curse Lax will eat any hit this thing wants to do. Um, he goes, clicks his Draco, lovely. Um, as I, um, that reveals that he's not particularly specially offensive, um, so he's probably got quite a lot of physical bulk um, so that he takes hits from Kabutops. Um, he's going to go into Buzzwall. Um, I call that pretty easily. Um, so I can go out into my Pelipper, uh, which scares this out and also sets up rain. Um, I'm just, I know Gudra is going to come back in, um, and I probably could Toxic, but if this thing has Thunder Punch, um, it, it may stay in and try and cheekily get the knockout. Um, so I'm going to click Hurricane. I have all Calm Barry, I can live anyone hit. Staying, get the hurricane damage off. Um, he goes out to his Gudra. Hurricane reveals that I believe he is assault vest, but not really invested. Um, he unfortunately gets confused, which sucks. But I'm wearing this thing down, which is what I need to do for um, my funny T. Um, I go into hip on this time um, because it it takes it again because I know he's not specs or anything. I know I can wall this thing. Um, he gets confused, which is a bit annoying. As I believe I take this opportunity to get up rocks, um, I might Toxic as he goes into his slow bro. Um, yeah, I, I get up rocks. Um, I believe I then, which is nice, rocks are up. Um, outside of Defog and Crobat, he can't get rid of them, um, which he's probably carrying because otherwise there's no reason really to bring the Crobat over the Gengar. Um, as it just outspeeds my entire team, both of them outspeed my entire team. Uh, he goes for Toxic on the switch, which is a bit annoying. Um, I was told he was going to set a Steeler here to pressure this thing, but he gets Clarlock Toxic, and that's a big, big problem for it because now it's not going to effectively wall any kind of sub. Um, Buzzwell, which is annoying. Um, I trade Toxics, I'm Toxic already, it's not a big issue. Um, he can't really do too much to me. Um, so he clicks Gold. And here I decide that, you know, um, Celesteela pressures this thing. I want to pressure this thing. I don't want to take a skull. I don't want to start taking skulls and all sorts with my Fundy T. I want to keep health on that. So I'm going to go out into my Celesteela, I believe. I, uh, no, no, I go into Curse Lax. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Why would I go into Celesteela? That comes on later. Go into Curse Lax. Uh, he uh, goes into Jolteon. Um, to get some momentum slash scare me out um, and get, get a roost. Uh, Curse like it's a little bit of recovery here and um, he is just going to click Volt Switch. I don't want to click it, I don't want to click HP Ice. Um, I don't want to go into Fundy and, and lose half my health on that um, just to just to sort of stunt a little bit because I can't Volt Switch on that anyway. I'd have to U turn and then he gets a free switch. Whereas I can click Return um, and basically find out what sort of um, buzzword this is. Does quite a lot of damage. Um, reveals that he's not got a lot of bulk investment. Um, so yeah, and Lefties basically confirms my fears in that he is sub. Um, I don't know if he's bulk up. If he is sub bulk up then he can't be dual stab in my in my mind at this point. Uh, because A he needs he needs something like Ice Punch so he can touch for Decidueye. Because otherwise if he is dual stab, Decidueye just walls him hard. Um, he I believe subs up here as I go into my Tlaloc and this is not looking good for me because I knew this thing was a threat. Um, I basically have to keep this thing low enough at all points so that Kabutops can come in revenge. Um, but yeah, I go into Tlaloc, um, click Hurricane I believe as he reveals Leech Life, um, which it kind of tells me he doesn't have Roost. Um, and probably has Balkum instead because that that plus lefties is a reasonable form of recovery. Um, gets a crit. Um, I think it's slightly annoying. I'm not sure of it. Not sure if it mattered. Um, I think it was probably a roll after uh, next turn potentially. Mm. Hit the hurricane because you know rain. It's, it's nice. Um, and he's yeah looking really really healthy and he's he's out of range of an aerial ace. Um, I believe I do like seventy percent max. 
um, if he's got minimal bulk investment, um, which we know he's not got a lot, but yeah, Leech Life comes out and kills me, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, I believe I go out into my Fundy here, because, um, well, uh, scares him out, or my Celestealer, Fundy or Celestealer? Celestealer probably, yeah, Celestealer, yeah. Again, this, this match was played a long time ago, okay, it was before I went on holiday, before I moved house. A lot of things are happening. Um, oh no, I get into Fun Day. Oh, damn it, caught it right first time. Uh, I believe I just click Psychic here because I don't want to. Because the Jolting on Switch is so, so obvious. And um, I can potentially 2 it KO him. Um, but yeah, Rock's sort of coming in nice there. Psychic, real Psychic, that gets off a big chunk of damage. And that's basically a 2 KO. So in case he wants to psych this thing. Um, I stay in, in case he's not expecting Scarf, um, which very wisely is, but because I, I really wanted just to be able to spam Thunderbolt, unfortunately it's not the case, because, uh, but, because, but I do get a kill here, because um, Gudra is in range of two Psychics, which means that I'm, I'm that much closer just being able to spam moves with uh, Fundy and just pick up kills, um, because once this and the Jolteon go down, um, it's basically a 50-50 every time this comes in, and if he guesses wrong, he loses one of his regen core. So there it is, um, Slowbro, I can go to Creoso, uh, nice and easy switch. Uh, I know this give, thing gives three switches into Buzzwall, um, so I need to try and be aggress fairly aggressive with it, and I'm, I think I here is where I predict him to go into Buzzwall, and I go into Celesteela, or I rest up one or the other. Um, or I might just return and get damage off from this thing. Uh, this commentary is so insightful and helpful. No, I switch out. I believe in Celesteela. I was right for yeah. Go into Celesteela because I think, right, um, if you stay, I mean, it can't really do much to me. Um, he might try and toxic me because um, he doesn't know Curse Likes at this point. Uh, and here I can pressure this thing out, slash at least pressure it. Uh, and I thought there was a chance he could go into Buzzwell. Um, I see bomb, get some damage off, um, hoping that I don't get skull burnt, because that seems to happen all the time, and surprise, I get burnt with the first gold, and that kind of means that um, I'm not doing anywhere near the amount of damage I need to be doing to break uh, his mons anymore. Uh, he has to switch this thing out because he is toxic. And also this burn is really annoying because it's what it start is gonna wear me down and it's gonna mean that I can't really check the buzzwall anymore. Um I predict him to go into basically anything else, not sure what. Um go into Cassinus hoping that I can get an ST up on something. Goes into Amoongus, which is a shame. Um so I probably should have gone to Prime, but oh well. He goes into Amoongus, um I can switch back out and go into Creas Oak because this thing does at least um, stop from getting up too much momentum. He reveals Giga Drain, and he also reveals that he's got quite a lot of special attack investment hit there, I believe, um, which is interesting. But yeah, um, I want to check if he's got clear smog or anything like that. Oh no, 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 no. This is, this is the point where I predict Buzzwall to come in, because I, I'm feeling a little bit behind just because that Buzzwall is a giant threat. And I switch in my Perun, which is not ideal. Gets a crit, does quite a lot of damage. Um, is what it is. Um, I then get... Uh, I assume uh, I then you turn out, because I don't know what he's going to go for. I don't really want to lose the rest of my health, and I can go into Creoso and just take whatever, and then just rest off. Um, again, this is a problem with this prep, is I don't have... Huge, oh, it's a problem slightly with my team. So I don't really, really pressure that Toad immensely. Sorry, Amoongus immensely. But yeah, I can set up a curse, basically reveal my set, which is a bit of a shame. But um, as he sludge bombs again, of course I'm now slower, so I won't actually get a plus one return off. Um, but yeah, here he can either. Um, yeah, here I'm. I'm slower than I'd like to be. I need to rest up. Um, I can either try and click return and hope I live two attacks or I can roost up I can rest up on this turn um, as he clears mogs. Um, so far we know he has three attacks. So that means he either has synthesis or spore or 
what I'm beginning to think is a salt vest, um, because that does do a decent job of checking Fundy. Um, and yeah, he's got a, too much, like quite a lot of special attack investment. Here's where he goes into Buzzwall, and I believe I go out into um, Celesteela, because you know, find it out. Um, the Buzzwall switch is kind of obvious because um, it's a Buzzwall and it, it's a Snorlax. I mean, I, I don't need to be, I don't really need to be explaining that to you, do I? Burn racks up, bit annoying. Um, I have I air slash here. Um, gonna reveal air slash is what it is. As he goes out into his crowbat, and here is the point where I think, oh great, he's not gonna have Giga Drain because Giga Drain crowbat against my team is a bit dumb. The damage, uh, the air slash damage basically tells me he's max HP, um, so he's bulky support bat. So this turn I'm expecting either a rooster or a defog, one or the other. Um, so I can get a 100% free switch into my um, Kabutops. Uh, as he goes for Defog, that's fine. I've still got my Rocker around. Um, I can get a Rocks late game if I need to. Um, but I've got my Kabutops in for free. And I'm literally thinking here, I can just win this game. Um, because at plus two, this Amoongus will not live the Z Stone Edge. Um, I don't know how much attack investment he has, um, because it, uh, plus two stone edge was probably a roll because I'm adamant, but I don't, I really, really don't want to um, risk that roll, uh, because, or try and have to hit that stone edge, as that could just be me choking a, a game um, by risking an 80% roll, which is not really the way I want to do it. Um... But yeah, um, so Stone Edge comes out, um, and this thing dies. That's great for me. Half his regen core is gone. Makes this match a lot easier. He goes out to Buzzwall, and I'm thinking, great, I can outspeed this thing. No worries. Aerial Ace kills. He can probably live a stone... Oh, no, he's faster than me. He's jolly. That's really annoying. And, yeah, this is a big, big problem, because... It, I mean, my prep, I thought, there's no way he's going to be jolly max speed or jolly buzzwall um, because it doesn't outspeed anything relevant on my team. Unfortunately, he decided to speed creep Modest Kingdra, um, and I'm going to have to kind of pay the price for that. And yeah, this, this is this is a prob problem for me. Um, so. He sort of obviously switches out his buzzwall because he doesn't want to take air slash. I probably should have doubled out into something to gain uh, momentum, but at this point, I'm playing a little bit. I'm not playing my best anymore. I'm I'm sort of panicking. I'm, I'm reassessing. I'm thinking, how do I win this game? How do I win this game? Um, the way I win this game is um, not by going out into this. I should be going out into my Perun and putting pressure on his slow bro. Because if I can break the slow bro, um, all I have to do is click um, Psychic three times and I win this game. Um, so yeah, um, he goes out into his buzzwall and here I'm trying to check sleep turns and I accidentally knock the screen. And yeah, that's not good. Because I have sleep talk. If I wanted to stay in, I would have clicked sleep talk, but I was trying to check whether I'd actually um, spent any of my sleep turns or not. And I dumped, and yeah, that's that's for free sub. That's all Buzzwell needs to basically clear up. Um, as far as I'm aware, because I'm now in range of superpower um, with Chernoborg, or a plus one superpower. I think just regular superpower, um, because he's faster than me, because he's faster than Modest Kingdra, and things aren't looking great for me. Um, I don't have well. I don't have whirlwind on my. Um, I don't have whirlwind on what's it called? <laughs> I'm very very good at remembering what Pokemon, what, what my Pokemon are called and what I was doing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have whirlwind on my Hippowdon. And so, yeah, what you're about to see is something which I'm probably going to speed up, um, which is him bulking up and revealing that I could have just brought a Decidueye and absolutely beat him. Is basically trying to break his sub 
and get it so that I can break his sub and have have him kill whatever's in front of him so I get a free switch into my what's it called um, Perun because if I get really lucky um, and basically crit enough crit slash um, spit F drops with enough psychics um, I can potentially still win this game um, so yeah play for pride that's why I go for rocks here because um, that potentially allows me to break the slow bro if he sacks it or misplays so at this point I've got to play off a choke I've got to play off trying to um, maneuver myself into the best position possible via um, yeah yeah. Oh yeah, there's another way I can win this game, which is small amount of superpowers, and then hopefully be able to curse up enough with um, uh, with my Snorlax, but that won't actually, you know, that won't work, because you'd have, you'd have to majorly, majorly choke here to do that. Uh, but yeah, as you see, I'm just going to be repeatedly trying to break his sub. And um, yeah. I'll uh, speed this bit up and uh, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> You just want to see my power long get knocked out, um, which is wonderful uh, because his sub I think is basically dead. Um, so the idea is I can U turn out on his sub. Um, this is basically the only set of circumstances which allowed me a free switch in. I can U turn out on his sub. Um, whatever attack he goes for, unless he subs again, will kill the um, what's it called? I can't remember his bloody name. Uh, Snorlax. Um, and then, yeah, uh, it's actually a bit of a misplay on his part um, because if he had just subbed again on this turn, then he would have been like absolutely fine, and he would have uh, won uh, regardless because if I'd stayed in to attack, um, well, it, yeah, if I'd stayed in to attack, then. Um, yeah, we don't really make much difference in him yet. But yeah, this thing is is now uh, out. And he has the Jolty on my back, annoyingly, because I couldn't kill it earlier. So I have to lock myself into Psychic. Um, he sacks this thing because he doesn't want to, you know, choke the game by going hard into Slowbro. Um, or hot. But yeah, so yeah, Psychic gets one kill. Um, Slowbro, unfortunately, I need to get a Spideff Trop and then either a crit or like a really really high roll um, I don't give a spit F drop um, or or just two crits so yeah that is what it is um, psychic kills me crit didn't matter earlier um, from sludge bomb because I still take live one psychic and I would have um, died to the second one based off of that damage uh, but yeah it is what it is it's a free out cut well played here, uh, GG for him, um, kind of shows, my prep wasn't the best, um, if I'd been jolly, I would have won, <laughs> basically, but I can't, like, get angry at all at that, um, because that's my own fault, um, so yeah, thanks for watching that very, very long video, um, I will hopefully see you again next week, um, which will be less late, potentially, um, again, where I play uh, Ty, a few Battle for the Cats. Um, he was really high up on the post draft power rankings. He's got like such a mad DFS, and um, he's just his just defensive calls are pretty crazy, and he's got Kieran Black, which is not fun. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you uh, next week.